This is a Buccaneer schooner. I'm going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. In front of the van, you've got the jockey wheel, hitch, and handbrake. This is all stuff we'll take you through in person here on site. Front locker of the caravan, you've got your two gas bottle tie downs and your gas regulator on the bulkhead. You can actually have two gas bottles connected at any one time on this particular van, as it has a changeover valve, which you very simply have both pipes connected to the bottles and spin the valve round. And the arrow here that's pointing at the bottle, uh, whichever bottle that is pointing at, is the bottle the gas system will run from. Now on a Buccaneer, uh, or this particular Buccaneer, we have self-leveling on it, and that's something we'll take you through in person here on site, uh, and we'll demonstrate that to you going up and down so you can see it's all working correctly. All the heating flue on the side of the van, which is essentially the gas flue for the heating and hot water systems. Don't ever cover it up and make sure you don't pay anything against it because it does get very hot when in use. Water pump connection goes into the side of the van, which very simply pulls out and pushes into the side of the van. Um, and the pump end drops down inside the ACRO roll uh, itself. You've then got a dog shower attachment here. If you wanted to, you can connect dog shower as they call them. Um, very handy if you've been down to the beach, for instance, and washing your feet off and that type of thing. Battery locker, we put a battery in there to demonstrate the systems on board the van. Um, terminals on top, as you'd expect to see. And then you've got your mains power lead coming into the side of the van also. The motor mover and wheel nuts, so we'll talk the wheel nuts while you're here on site, seeing so they've been talked to the correct manufacturer setting. And we'll also demonstrate the motor mover to you here while you're on site. Coming down the side of the van, you've got your two grey waste pipes coming out the side of the van, and the two large diameter holes around the outside there will actually take the two bits of grey waste pipe that drop down inside the waste master. The back of the round this side, you've got your toilet waste cassette, which you very simply remove by pulling up the orange handle, pull the cassette towards you. The neck here turns out so you can tip the waste away. The grey cap is a measure for your blue fluid. And on the back of the cassette, you've got your orange pressure relief button, which when you're tipping the waste away, allows it to not spit and splatter at you. Before you use that cassette, you need to put one litre of water in it and a cap full of the blue fluid. Yeah, at the back of the van, you've got the self-leveling legs. Storage locker for underneath the bed, the French style bed in the rear of this caravan. Then you've got the fridge vents which allow the hot air out the back of the fridge unit. And at the top there you've got the one for the microwave also. But the two fridge vents there will essentially allow the hot air outside of the fridge unit. Um, and behind one of those there'll also be a gas flue for the gas systems. You've then got your storage locker to access underneath the front seating area and your barbecue gas point at the front of the van. As I said on the outside, we'll take you through the self-leveling control panel, the motor mover and the uh, hand remote for the motor mover system uh, for the self-leveling itself. When you first come into the caravan, you're going to turn on the master power, which is on this switch here. You've then got your lights on the various switches around the two here. So that's your master power switch and then your lighting on that switch, that switch and that switch there. You've got your water pump runs here, which I'll go through in a moment. Voltmeter an onboard water tank level, which at the moment I haven't got filled up. I have filled the normal water system up at the moment just to demonstrate that is all working. Above that, you've got the Audi control panel again, which I'll come back to in a moment. So to fill the water system, um, and I'm going to basically take you through both water systems, but they both fill in the same way. You're going to need to make sure that both drain down valves, so basically the hot water tank in the front of the van, the yellow valve there is shut and parallel with the floor. That will allow you to fill the water system if that valve is parallel with the floor. If it's pointing upright towards the bottom of the seat, then it'll actually stop you from filling the system due to the fact it will drain all of the water straight back on the floor underneath the caravan. So the yellow valve in underneath the front seat on the right hand side needs to be parallel with the floor. Then in the rear of the caravan, if you're going to use the onboard water tank at the rear of the van, you're going to need to make sure that the blue valve on the side of this tank says closed on it. If it says open, again, all the water will drain straight onto the floor. If it says closed, then you'll be able to fill the water system up uh, from the onboard tank. Or fill the tank up from the acro on the outside. The first thing you're going to do, no matter which tank you're using or which tank you're trying to fill, you're going to open all the taps on the hot side of the water system. As I said, I've already filled the water system up but you need to open all of the taps on board the caravan to the hot side of the water system. So that's the one in the kitchen, one in the bathroom sink, and also the one on the shower. Like I said, I've already bled all these, so I'm just gonna do it from the one tap to demonstrate how it works. 
So we're going to open up the tap on the sink. We're going to come over to the control panel and turn on the water pump just here. And you can see the water pump's running. If you're going to run from the external tank on the outside of the caravan, which is the Acroll, you're going to need to put this switch into the down position so it says external. If you want to fill the onboard tank for the caravan, you're going to need to switch this, flick this switch over to the internal. Now what that will do is, is it will actually direct the water to the tank at the back of the caravan and it will fill that tank up. Now that tank's going to hold around 40 litres, so it's actually going to drain a whole acro roll before that tank is full. But whatever happens, you need to make sure before you um, start running, before you start heating the water, that both sides of the water system is full. So like I said, you're gonna leave all the taps open until you've got your water running continuously. You're then gonna shut all the taps off once you have water running continuously out of the taps. And at that point, you can start thinking about warming the water on board the caravan. So the control panel here by the door is the only hot heating and hot water control panel. At the top here, on the top left hand corner, it's indicating that the heating pump is running. So the caravan is actually warming up at the moment. Below that, you've got the internal temperature of the caravan. And below that, you've got the external temperature of the caravan. To go into the menu, you press menu. And at the top here, you've got your internal room temperature. So you've got minus and plus to set the temperature inside of the caravan. Below that, you've got your option for your hot water. So you've got hot water on when this black line is in the center here. And you've got hot water boost for when you're showering on board the van when this bar is completely full. So water, hot water on and hot water boost. Below that, you've got your option of how much power you have come into the caravan from the caravan site you're on to use your heating and hot water on. If you're off grid, you'll have this set to off and you'll use the gas to power the heating and hot water. However, if you've got power coming to the caravan, you've got the option of running one, two or three kilowatts of power coming into the van. Like I said, it will all depend on what power source you have available on site to what you can run that on. My advice to you is, is to ask the site office when you arrive on site and they'll be able to advise you of what power source to run. If you want to run gas as your power source, you'll simply hit the gas button here at the bottom and it will self ignite the gas system on gas as long as there is a gas bottle connected and it's turned on. If it does fail to ignite and the gas is turned on, I'd advise you go to the hob get the gas through onto the hob because that is the last point on the gas system generally and then you should have gas to every other component on board the van. If it does fail to ignite on gas it'll actually come up with two exclamation marks and gas fail at the bottom of the screen and that is to indicate it hasn't ignited on gas. I'm just going to turn this down for now. There we go, we'll leave the water on so it warms up when you arrive on site. The next thing we go to is the fridge. Oh, sorry, one thing I didn't say about the control panel was up here. You have got some advanced settings in here, which I advise you read the manual for. Essentially, you can change the screen brightness, prioritize what power source you use, etc. And you can also set some timers so your heating and hot water kicks in and out as you need it to, or at the times you'd like it to. The fridge is very simple to use. You've got your power button just here. As you can see at the moment, we're using mains power to, you, to cool the fridge. And on this side, you have the option of what temperature you want to run the fridge on. You've also then got the option to run gas. So again, the gas system will self-ignite as long as you've got gas through the whole way through the system. And again, I'd advise you go to the hob to bleed the system first. If it ever failed to ignite, it'd flash the red warning light on this side and the blue pilot light here on the left-hand side. Again, you control the temperature of the fridge on gas with the thermometer button there. When you connect to the car and you're towing down the road, so at the moment, as you can see, we're not, hence why it's flashing and indicating there's no power coming into the van. If you want to use the fridge as a cool box, you need to connect to the car first. Come inside the caravan, turn the fridge on and select the 12 volt mode just here. You'd leave all the control panel switches off by the door, but it doesn't need to be on. And essentially, you'd use the fridge as a cool box while you're traveling down the road. The microwave here above, press the eco button here, and it'll wake the fridge up. Um, for some reason, the power's not come on at the moment. I don't think I've turned the power post on outside. Um, but what you essentially do is hit the eco button and it'll wake the microwave up. Essentially, it's an eco microwave, so it cuts itself in and out when it is not being used. 
hob cooker and grill um, the 240 ring on the hob will only work when you've got mains power connected the rest of the grill oven and hob will work off the gas supply on board the van the bed as you can see does lift up for easy access to the storage which you can also access from the locker on the outside the last thing we can go through on the inside of this van is the toilet system the toilet seat turns for your convenience however when you're removing the cassette from underneath the van you need to make sure it's square on with the panel behind it you've got an electric flush on the wall for the, to uh, for the toilet system and then here you have a toilet full indicator light so that light will essentially light up when the toilet waste cassette is full down the bottom here you have your toilet waste flap which allows the toilet waste into the cassette underneath the van the radiator you see here will actually keep quite a lot of heat in it and that's run through the wet central heating system so I do advise that you be very careful uh, with hands and legs etc when you're using the loo facility or when you're having a shower for instance uh, is it could potentially burn so just be aware of that when uh, it is warmed up completely at 30 degrees so that's the buccaneer schooner if you have any more questions on the van please don't hesitate to call us here at the caravan company we thank you for the business and we look forward to seeing you here on site when you collect your caravan thank you for now bye bye